Okay, we're going to take some portrait shots of Xavier right now, and you're going to see in action how the flash right, whatever the name is going to be, nuclear for right now, is going to be used. So first thing I do is I'm going to set up Xavier. Okay, sit up straight so your back is straight. Put your hand out right about here. Lean over. Bring this hand out just about. That's it. Put your leg up there. Turn your shoulders a little bit like that. And then you're going to look at me. Now, because his face is looking right at me, do we want more light to impact his face or we want softer light? We want softer light. So we're going to use the new flash right nuclear to control that. That is one of the few things you can do with this that you can't do with anything else. So we're going to take out the softest filter and we're going to let more light go up and less light go forward because we don't want to blast his face with light because when we blast his face with light, okay, we got all these big light beams going at him. <laughs> All right, so we actually we want the softer stuff to come through. That's what we're going to use this for. So by putting in this disc, we're going to send more light up, and it's going to be kind of like a hair light that comes down on his head. It's going to get a very portrait-looking shot. All right, so I'm going to turn this to the portrait orientation. And now you look at me, Xavier. All right, drop your chin a little bit. Turn your head to your left a little bit. That's it. And turn your head a little bit more towards me. Perfect. Now look straight at the lens. Chin down a hair. That's it. And we take the picture. And that's what the picture looks like. How do you like that? Doesn't look too bad, right? Now, what would have happened if we used this, where we sent a lot of light forward? So we'll take the same picture using the 100%. Now we're sending a great amount of light forward. All right. Kind of set yourself again the same way. That's it. Chin down a little bit. That's it, and we take the picture, and you can see one is more conducive to a portrait and the other is not. And that's just these two, okay? We've got the 100% and we've got the open one, all right? Now we've got something where we can do in the middle. We've got these two kickers where we can send less light or more light, and it gives us another different look, all right? So we'll take a picture with this one just for the heck of it so you can see what it looks like. And that is in the middle. See, I always show my client what I'm doing because it gets them involved and they're not just sitting there like on a bump on a log and Xavier feels like he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Always keep the person involved. That's what the flash right nuclear is about. That's why you want it. So you can control the kicker along with controlling with the gels. Now, I'm going to find out what kind of a, of a run we're going to make with the new flashlight nuclear. I'm going to tell you what the name is tomorrow, and I'm going to come up with some kind of a special deal where you can order yours uh, starting tomorrow. All right, so this is Peter Gregg from Miami, Florida. Xavier sitting here with me. Let's give him a round of applause. Yay, yay for Xavier. And Pappas just stands there, doesn't even clap. All right, thank you, sir. Have a good one. All right, catch you tomorrow. Be looking for my email tomorrow because I'm going to give you a special deal on the new Flashrite blank, whatever the name winds up being. Catch you later. Bye-bye.